Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create a PDF and what a PDF is actually for. Why is it use a PDF rather than a Word document for example? So let's start first of all what does PDF stand for? PDF stands for Portable Document Format. It was introduced to ease the sharing of documents between computers and across operating system platforms. When you need to save files that cannot be modified but still need to be easily shared and printed. That means you can share it with a, a colleague and you can't change it. You can print it out and it will print out exactly how you wanted it to print out. Not with extra images or things removed. It will print out exactly how it was created. So what are PDFs used for? Like I say, it preserves layout, formatting, fonts and images. Contents can't be easily changed. There's free viewers on the web, which means when you open it in, say, in Google Chrome, the latest version, it will view a PDF and you can go through the pages, you can print it out and it will be exactly as the person intended it. So, so for example, you could have like a certificate Obviously, you print, want it to print out how the user intended to be, for it to print out, and you want it to print out the same way as everybody else. So, when you get to say school, you don't get different versions of the printout, everything will be the same because it will print the same way on different printers. Now, opening PDF files, like I say, you can open it in most web browsers now support it, but also you can open it in application. There's one called Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. DC means the latest version. A free download from adobe.com. If you go on there, you can download it for free and then you can open PDF files. Now creating PDFs. This is so you can create a PDF and send it to somebody else and know that they're not going to change it and then print it out as you want it for it to print it out. So in Windows 10, there's a print dialog box. When you're going to print, there's a um, print to pdf automatically in there and create a new file which then you can send off in older versions of windows you need a, a print pdf driver there are lots of available on the internet free ones we have one called print to pdf pro which i'll show you how to use in a second also if you've got say microsoft office and you're using say a word document if you go into file tab export create PDF you can save a PDF there on Macintosh it's also available in the print dialog box so I will show you that now so here I have a, a Word document if you click on file menu save as the desktop and then in the save as type if you go down you see PDF in the list and there you can just click save and that will create a PDF now say that you wanted to print to a PDF from a different program so you can go on file menu print then you can select your printer if you've got a PDF printer installed say example print to PDF Pro Then it will print out as you show it like that. Click print. Now it comes up with this box here, just click create PDF. And then click save. And that's it, it saved it out exactly as you wanted it. Now it's opened it automatically in Adobe Reader, which is what I'm actually using for this document. And that's how you create a PDF. So another example is PowerPoint. So this PowerPoint document here, usually you can go into file menu, save as, desktop, and here you can select PDF format there, but say on older versions that might not exist or different software, what you can do is go into file, print, to select print to PDF Pro, Okay, click print. And let's go up here. Let me click do a two on it. 
and that's printed it out there to the actual PDF file that now you can send off to somebody else to print out and that's what a PDF is. Hope this helped, check out our other videos, bye for now.